Hello everyone, it's your favorite Uncle Bob, back at you with another video. And tonight we're looking at the Transformers Velocitron line Galaxy Shuttle. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the video. Now for this guy. He's a, a very mixed bag, at least my copy is. And I say my copy because I've not heard any of these complaints um, of any other one. So, granted that he didn't get a mass release very well, so, <laughs> yeah. But, I yeah, get a close-up on that detail. I know I have a split, and no matter how much I try, I can't get it to, you know, go together. But, honestly, it looks very nice. Reminds me of the 4014 Big Boy. Minus the jet thrusters back there <laughs> so yeah you know not too bad he rolls you know relative relatively well he's got nicely painted uh wheels so but other than that there's in the headlight there's really no other paint in this alt mode now actually that is kind of a lie all this black is painted and it feels chalky to me and i don't know why it feels chalky because like they paint i don't they painted these joints and it's annoying as you can tell it's scraping off and yeah it's just not the best but for a real quick size comparison here we have g2 side swipe so yeah not too bad it's fine there we go so you know Definitely completely out of scale, but let's be honest, this character is already out of scale because he's supposed to be combiner height. Yeah. Now, he does come with quite a few accessories. He comes with two of these. Looks, don't know what type of gun this is, but it looks really nice. Nope. Okay. Comes with this machine gun of sorts, and you can see it's got black on the inside. I don't know why you can see. Yeah, black, and that is because of this gun. And again, chalky. I think it's the black they chose, and I don't like it. But it is molded in red, painted black, and fair warning, do not plug these two guns together, even though the instructions say you can. And if you have the Siege Astro Train mold, you can. Don't do it, because you are going to scrape this paint off. So, And he also comes with a missile launcher, so... Oh, yeah, and a uh, tender. So, now, what can you do with all these? Well, if you want to, you can open up the tender. Open it flat. Take, let's see, if I remember how to do this, these two guns, plug them in. Oh, no, sorry, not these two. I'm going to take the machine gun, and you want it where it's more the outward. Then you want to take this one. Plug that one in. Then you want to take these two and actually plug them onto the side. There we go. Plug them onto the side. Kind of straighten it out. Plug onto the side. There we go. Then you just want to close all of this up. Close it all up. I said close all of it up. Come on. You know you want to. You work with fine ash string. Then you want to take this one and just plug it into the bottom you should be able to <laughs> okay for right now i'm just gonna say this doesn't go anywhere it's been a while since i have uh missed oh no i'm sorry this would actually go into the bottom before you plug these two on my fault guys it's been a while so but anyways this can plug onto the back of him so you just want to make sure these pegs are aligned like that to line up with those slots and there you go. Now, on the Siege Astro Train, this looks a lot better because the Astro Train is painted more to, mac to match with Astro Train, obviously. This one, eh, not so much. But that's fine because that's this isn't really what it's meant for considering the character. So, But anyways, let's get on to that transformation. Now, since it is Astro Train, he does, have, he does have, you know, his namesake, a shuttle mode. So to get to the shuttle mode, let's first raise up the camera. All right. So you want to start by popping the, these and just kind of folding them out about halfway for right now. Then come under here, flip open these. 
then take the train wheels and flip them around flip around now this one does like to come off on mine i'm gonna i don't know how to fix that it is pinned but the pin likes to come out so if anyone has any tips please let me know but yeah anyways then you want to fold out the wings push that pin in because it's gonna come out anyways fold out the wings there we go then you can open up the entire this whole assembly flip in that piece flip push in that the uh bumper of the train not the bumper the cow cattle guard flip this around 180 and okay, there you go you got the nose cone all done do the same thing for the other side flip 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 then combine those two back kind of squeeze everything together make sure the legs stay straight then you want to go ahead and just return everything back to how you found it there we go okay then to go ahead and flip down the uh what were the train wheels the front half of it next come to the sides and i have to have a sputter because these are stupid tight yeah, come on okay. come on you know you want to open Open? No. Open because it's normal. Open because I say so. <sighs> if it is, doesn't open, I am not. I'll just tell you what's supposed to happen. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, well, since it's not going to open, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to flip these open, rotate this back, and there will be a fin that will go in between right here. But since it's not wanting to work for me tonight, this is the best you're going to get. And I apologize, folks. Uh, of course, I had to choose this figure instead of the other one I was going to. But anyways, here we have Galaxy Shuttle in his shuttle mode. Looks very nice. Get a close-up on that detailing. Come on. Very nice painted windows. Got a nice misaligned Autobot symbol. Yay. Uh, typically you wouldn't be able to see his face, so, yeah. But you can tell, I, I don't know if you can tell if he's an Autobot between the three Autobot symbols. I don't think he's an Autobot. <laughs> but, yeah. So, can sort of roll, not really. I guess you're, you've lost some of the wheels back here, so. But, yeah. Anyways, for size comparison, here we have side swipe. Not a bad looking, you know, size wise. So, set him off. Now, what can you do for this? Well, open it up like I did before. Just open it all the way up. Remove these guns. And you'd also remove the uh, missile launcher because it would be plugging right there. Fold that flat. Then, you can do one of two things. You can leave it like this. Or, you can kind of raise it up a little bit. Just have these kind of however you want. You know, little gun placements then you can take galaxy shuttle plug him onto the same uh area just line everything up there we go now you can also have him that way too doesn't matter and here you have a launch bay that he did use a couple times in the show so yeah and these are also on hinges so if you need to raise those up for any reason you can I don't know why I went so low, sorry. But, yeah, overall not a bad-looking space shuttle form. So, yeah. All right, set this off to the side. We don't need any of this right now. Now, for robot mode. So, where should we start? Uh, let's start with the feet, because that's simple. So, go ahead and split all this. Bring it down. Bring it down. Split the legs too while you're at it. Just split everything. There we go. Clip that kind of into place. Come back here. Take this section and untab. There we go. Now there will be a slot right there for the port right here. There we go. There you go. And yeah, now this part is optional. You can just take that, bring it back, and do that. I don't care for that. That's kind of a pointless piece of transformation just leave it straight <laughs> it doesn't affect anything so come on 
Come on. Thank you. All right. Get that all sorted. There we go. And there is his legs all done. Now, well, you got to flip down these pieces, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Folding this up. Or rotating the whatever camera up. Now, typically, you would uh, unpeg the fin, fold it down, clip in the sides. So, but since... You know, these didn't want to cooperate because they decided to paint them black. <sighs> yeah, all right. Next step. Come here, untab the uh, thrusters, and just fold this all down. There is a tab slot connection right there. And then another two tab slot connections right up in here. Up right, those two right here. Don't know why you can see it. Yeah, right there and right there. With those uh, tabs right there. So, along with the clips as well. Then you want to rock this all the way back. And it will slot into place right there. There we go. Then you want to take the arms, rotate them down. They will kind of snap into place. There we go. Unpeg them and rotate them out. Rotate 180. And get the fist out. I find it best to just get a gun. And rotate out the fist that way. So, yeah. Rotate. Sometimes it's easy. No, that one won't want to cooperate. Okay. And here we have Galaxy Shuttle, a.k.a. Jasmus Prime, <laughs> in robot mode. And, yeah, you can see why I call him... J People have been calling him Jasmus Prime when they he was first revealed. So I'll get a close-up on that head sculpt. Come on. Okay. Just do this with fan. There we go. Yeah, that looks a lot like jazz. Do you want some... You, you like jazz? Sorry. Not really. <clears throat> okay. So, as far as robot mode goes, he, he he looks great. I'm... So, typical backpack, but honestly, if you look at the character model, that's, that's fine. So, yeah, not too bad. Now, for articulation, the arms can... Almost do a 360 if the wings weren't in the way. You can't ro can rotate them back about that far, but that still doesn't help much. So, yeah. Can't really go back too far, so then that's fine. Out that far, unless you unpeg it, which then kind of looks, you know, disorienting. So, yeah. Bicep rotation, double jointed elbow, nothing at the wrist other than downward movement. Uh, he does have a ball joint at the head, can kind of look up a little bit, down, full 360. Excuse me. And he has a waist rotation. Legs can go forward if you get this hip flap out of the way. Forward that far. Back that far before the butt plate stops you, along with all this junk. Can do, can, he can technically do full splits, so yeah, not bad. He's got a thigh rotation. He's got a 90 degree bend of the knee. Well, almost 90. Uh, and a slight, oh, no, full on ankle tilt. So, yeah, he's pretty pulsable. So, yeah. All right. Now, what can we do with all of this stuff that we have? Well, guns do have, for a second, there it is. This one has multiple ports and all that, so you can really create however you want it. With Astrochain, I plugged all this together and made a giant gun. But for him, I like to do it a little differently. So, nope, that, that was, that's a first. Okay, there we go. Okay, just unplug all the guns. Come on. Come on, okay. We'll deal with you later. Get another shot. So for him, I will... Plug the missile launcher into the arm, there, like so. Then I'll take this gun and this gun, plug that one, this uh, tat, whatever, into this port. Plug it in like that. Then you take this and plug it into the hand. Next, you plug this one on the underside, and it will all line up. There we go. And now it looks like he has a uh, Transformers Prime... Hand that turned into a gun thing. Or Michael Bay. And then this one I just plug in because it doesn't work very well. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Now you can orient this one any which way you can flip it around or whatever. It's up to you. And for this, you can detach this, whoop, the uh, silver feet, and unpeg them. They will plug into the bottom of his feet to give him like a centimeter more height. Yeah, not not too much. I know Laser Eyebrow did a, a whole gag on the. Well, if you're just gonna plug the feet in, just make any however tall you want. Now, what can you do for this stuff? Well, you can take this piece, rotate it around, and it will plug right there and just kind of, you know, whatever you want this. And it can just plug onto his back. The same way in alt mode and all that. To give him a um, giant backpack. He's going to go spelunking. So, yeah. Now, oh yeah, and for a real quick a size comparison... Here we have a G2 Sideswipe, and even though the shoes do make him taller, it's not that much of a difference. Like, if you really wanted to, it's like, yeah, not much of a difference. So, yeah. Okay. So, overall, you know, this figure is okay at best. Especially with the backpack, I'm going to just remove that. Because he's going to fall over. Um... Honestly, I say pass on him. It could be just my copy with the issues, and I'm willing to chop up with that because I've not heard any other issues with this figure as far as that goes. And, you know, that's fine. If you get a good copy, great. Pick him up. I don't know why he got such a weird release, too, because... And he doesn't even fit in with Velocitron. <laughs> but, no, oh well. Whatever, that's, that's Hasbro, not me. So... If you had to pick up one of this mold, just get Astro Train. You know, that mold is far better than this. Or character-wise and all that. But anyways, this is your favorite Gumball Bob saying don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time for another video review.